Mabuhok ka ba? Mabuhok ka ba? Mabuhok ka ba? Kagaya ko? And then this tool that I'm holding right now, it's a lifesaver. So, huwag na natin patagalin. What is my opinion about this intense false light hair removal? A permanent hair removal. So, first question would be, is it effective? It's a yes. Is it affordable? It's a yes. Sulit naman ba for the price? Again, it's a big yes. Will I recommend it to other people? It's definitely a yes. Welcome aboard, I'm Jermaine Digia and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm gonna be sharing my honest review, my personal opinion about this hair removal IPL Let's Go Pond. Are you ready? Let's get started. And the price of this one is 3,799 pesos. I bought this one in Lazada. So, tatanungin nyo, di ba? Nabanggit ko. Sulit siya. Bakit? Kasi, if not for the vloggers out there, marami mga vloggers is student. They really invested for this one. Dahil lifetime na yung kanyang effect. So, it's a permanent hair removal. Na sulit dahil 3,799 pesos. Then, you can get the silky smooth bright skin that you want for that price. Kasi, di ba? Bye-bye hair. Upon checking in Elsada, they have a discount as of October 29, 2020. So, nakakatuwa dahil mga mga vloggers out there, thanks a lot to Ms. Kay Abad Manuel because of her very informative vlogs about this Les Colton product. And nakakatuwa kasi upon researching, there are other vloggers as well that they do really recommend this product. So, sabi ko, ah, so marami nagbigay na magagandang reviews. Mm, try ko nga. And then, I purchased it. I purchased it in Lazada thanks to my Kuya Bags, the Gia. <laughs> Kasi siya yung maraming points on Lazada. Nakakatawa nung pinadala siya, it comes with the box. So, I'm gonna show to you as well how it looks like. It looks like this. And with the box, you have this IPL itself. And then, it comes with a charger and then yung shades or yung goggles. Kasi your eyes need to be protected while using this one. Okay, so just a disclaimer, hindi ko first time magpaliser. I've been doing this for more than a decade na. And I started with shaving before. Kasi sobrang balbo niya eh. And nagsashave ako, nagpapahair waxing salon, nagpapatreading, nagpapa-epilator. So, yung mga hair removal cream, kaya talagang lahat na try ko na. And praise God, because I found this product, which is very reliable. Okay, so sana ko nagpapahair removal. And I'm doing that in different parts of my body. But this one, I would really highly recommend that you can use it for your arms and for your legs and upper leg, lower leg, upper arm, lower arm. Ako kasi makikita nyo kung gano'n ka ba mo. I'm gonna show it to you. And ayan, ang diba? Ang dami ko sa legs and ang dami ko din sa arms, pati yung sa kamay. Ayan, nakita nyo. So, nakakatawa kasi you can now get rid of the unwanted hair sa mga areas na hindi naman dapat may hair yung babae, diba? Kaya nakakatuwa dahil for that kind of price, 3,799 pesos kahit nasa bahay ka, especially now that we have an ongoing global pandemic, it's not really that convenient to go to a salon kung may mga budget sa mga laser dermatologists, mga professional dermatologists, pero hindi din kasi mura yon And just a quick idea, how much does it cost? So that was like more than a decade ago when I went to a professional um, dermatologist for IPL for laser that cost me around 40,000 or 50,000 pesos if my memory serves me right. So, ang mahal talaga. Pero lifetime kasi yun. So, even up to this very day, I can still go back then. So, that this is how it looks like when you go to a professional and then they will help you. So, lifetime yan. So, you can go back and they will advise you how often they have to go back. And, yes. Now, there are two lamps. The rejuvenating and the laser lamp. So, I haven't started using the rejuvenating lamp. But, if you want, I can also share some review because rejuvenating lamp, it, you can just use it for your face just like that. Now, let's move on. So, how are we going to use this one? Let me just show to you how we're going to use it. So, you use it like this. Step one, make sure that you have a clean skin right after shower. Then, you can apply a lotion to moisturize your skin prior to shaving. For my case, I'm using George's Ultra Healing Lotion to moisturize my skin. Then, you just shave it like so. Make sure that you're also using a quality shaver so that you'll not damage your skin. Step 2, start using the IPL by Bloggy 
in 220 volts, there will be light and sound indicator so that you will know that it's already turned on. You will see the green light on the side, left and right, and you will see the lamp. This one it means level 1. There are 5 levels, level 1 being the lowest. Then you can press the button, that would be level 2, level 3. And you can start using it. Once you put it on your skin, you will see that there's an indicator. The light starts blinking, then you just have to push the button. Don't forget to put the goggles to protect your eyes. Then start pushing the button and you will see again. There you go. Button. Push the button, there will be light. Depends on your level of tolerance. So if you put it in 3, that's the middle. And 5 would be the highest. That would be more effective. You will see less hair growth in the future. So it depends on you. Which level do you prefer? Level 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Please make sure that you are targeting the area with the hair with the green lamp. How does it feel? It feels like a bit of a sting. Please don't forget to apply an aloe vera gel or soothing cream or moisturizer so that your skin will be protected after using the IPL. Don't forget, do not wet your skin at least 48 hours and I would recommend to do this before bedtime. I'm using Jeju Aloe Vera I bought from Watson's. It's also very important, I would strongly recommend to read the manual first. It's T009, so it comes with the manual. And then you can mga do's and don'ts and how to properly use it and how to maintain it. So, hindi siya masisira agad. Um, Ipapakita ko din dyan sa ating screen kung ano yung mga very important tips dito. So, let's say, for example, you have a tattoo. So, don't use it in a part that you have a tattoo or mayroong dark spot. Ako may mga ganyan. Ako yung mga parang nagkaroon ng scar. Tapos, sa mga dark spot, brown spot, black spot, kung meron ka sa paa, ako may ganun ako. So, medyo iiwasan natin daw yan. Yan, sabi dito. And sa mga sensitive part ng katawan, so hindi rin siya advisable kasi sensitive part nga yun, so syempre manipis yung balat dun. Pero other than that, it's safe to use. And then, um, may mga use it. Meron tayo dito for first month, 3 to 5 days. And then for second month, once a week. And then for third month, once every 15 days. For the fourth month, once every 30 days. I'm gonna show to you how I did it. Uh, Nagkuma ko na lang ako ng Excel. Pero pwede din kayo gumawa na lang ng charts sa typewriting. So kung wala nyo, guhitan nyo na lang para hindi na magpaprint. Maganda rin makatipid sa panahon ngayon. Pero kung meron naman kayong printer sa bahay, print nyo na lang. So para maganda gawa, I would recommend na maganda meron kayong chart kahit sulat kamay lang para sulit din. Mm, para alam nyo, kung gano'n nyo, sya ginagamit. So, sa part ko naman, hindi ko siya religiously nagagamit. Kaya, mag-okay din kasi less na yung tumutubong hair. Ayan. And may mga part din dito. Sabi nga dito, sa hairline, sa cheeks, sa lips, sa back, oxter, yung sa bandang side ng ano yun, armpit. Yung sa chest, kung may mga bukong sa chest, sa arm, sa abdomen, sa bikini line, pwede rin siya. Sa thigh part and sa sa legs, yan, pwede safe to use. So, marami, marami mga part na pwede siyang paggamitan. And now, there's uh, frequently asked questions dito. So, for example, hmm, ako, sa akin, sa case ko, since hindi na ako first time nag-IPL, anong level na yung ginagamit ko? Minsan 4, minsan 5. I use it 4 or 5 sa face ko. Siguro mga 3. Sa mga, yan, sa part ng ganito ko. Kasi marami ka-hear, marami ka-hear dyan. Sa legs ko, 4 or 5. Kasi sanay na ako. Paano pag beginner, Mr. Main? What would you recommend? So, pag beginner, depende sa tolerance level. Mga patch test muna. Nakarecommend din dito yun eh. Sensitivity test. Saan ka magsa-sensitivity test? Pwede dito. Pwede sa part ng kamay natin na ganito. Or pwede naman sa mga area na hindi visible. Kanyari dyan. So, yan. Medyo at least kung mayroon ka mga irritation or redness na maganda, hindi siya ma-visible masyado sa face or sa legs. Yan. So, maganda. Mag-sensitivity test muna para at least alam mo kung okay na okay ba talaga sa'yo yung IPL last call pa natin. Maganda yung before bedtime bago matulog para pahinga yung skin and then the next day ka nalang magbabasa. Kasi sinadjust din naman dito na dapat ano, 48 hours. So, huwag ka magpapatani, sunbathing, and maganda na ako nga, suggestion ko bago na lang matulog para pahinga yung skin and then the next morning, oh, di ba? Flawless skin na siya, smooth and hairless skin. And then, for example naman, uh, depende sa hair growth kasi di ba? Normally, so Mr. Main, question, um, kailan tutubo ulit yung hair or hanggang kailan mo siya gagamitin? 300,000 pulses for the hair removal lump and 100,000 pulses for the rejuvenation lump. Ayan, so we have the manual. And matagal na rin yun, ha? Matagal na abutin nun. Abutin na yun ng taon. 
or more than that, it depends. You know, each and every one of us, we have different hair growth. And ang maganda niyan, kasi, ito naman, gagawin niya parang pag mag-slip na yung ano, <laughs> mag-slip, mag-slip muna sila. Wag ka muna tumubo, slip ka na, ayan. So, kakagamit, kakagamit, nag-slip na yung mga hair, so hindi na siya tumutubo. Kaya, tinawag na permanent hair removal kasi you get the purpose, di ba? Ang purpose is huwag na siyang tumubo. So, ganun yung nangyayari. Ganun yung function ng ating less called hair removal. Hindi natin masasagot kung gano'ng kabilis yung tubo kasi, di ba, iba yung hair growth ng bawat tao. Pwede sa akin, mas mabilis pag nag-shave ako ngayon, tapos nag-less Colton IPL ako ngayon, pwede tumubo ulit bukas kasi ganun nga siya kabalbon. Oh, and napakita ko naman um, yung itsura ng aking legs at ng arms. So, diba? Makikita natin talaga na grabe ang kabukan. <laughs> and okay lang. Bakit? Kasi meron namang solusyon. So, if you have other questions, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. I will definitely reply kasi nababantayan naman natin yung mga comments natin na yan. And I will also making another vlog with in regards to the rejuvenating hump. Gusto nyo ba malaman kung anong effect kung na-rejuvenate ba talaga yung skin natin? And yun yung mga future vlogs natin. So, if you haven't subscribed in my YouTube channel yet, I would really appreciate if you can click the subscribe button and the bell button. Once you click the bell button, there will be three options. So, I would recommend that you can click all so you will get more informative vlogs from me. And... Did you know that as a flight attendant, we have what we call grooming check? What is grooming check? Who's grooming? Grooming check is that the grooming officer or supervisors, mga flight attendant din sila, they will check you if you are up to standard before you go to a flight. So it happens every single flight. And sa mga aspiring flight attendant dyan, yes, bawal ang balbon sa mga babae in the airline that I'm working for. Well, maganda rin naman because we have that kind of standard. Kasi syempre, when you serve, kita yung visible part sa uniform. So syempre, pagka mga babae, maganda malinis, tignan. And yun, nakakatuwa kasi meron ako one time na experience. So the grooming officer is very nice. She's very respectful. And then she um, called my attention during the grooming check. And she called, can I just um, talk to you for a second? And then she called me real quick. And then she'll be spreading my ears. Please, wax your arms. Boom! <laughs> kasi alam ko naman, nagpapawax naman talaga ako. Kaya lang, syempre, it keeps on growing kasi balbon nga ako. So, yan ang isa sa mga tip ko. If you are an aspiring flight attendant and you want to work for a five-star international airline in the Middle East, just like what I'm doing right now, yes, as a flight attendant, for the ladies lang naman. For the gentlemen, no problem naman kahit may mga hair dyan sa baseball part natin. Pero for the ladies, mas malinis tingnan. And um, for hygiene purposes na din, kung wala tayong hair. So, this too is really helpful and a lifesaver for us mga balbonic. Balbonic? <laughs> mga balbonic na ladies. So, Bata ako, naalala ko na bubuli ako kasi hindi naman ako ganun kaganda. Mataba ako eh. <laughs> Mataba ako nung bata ako. Tawag ka sa akin before B-Meg, Tigrolak. So, mga friends ko yun. So, nakakatawa pero nakakalungkot din minsan dahil syempre parang gusto mo na maging okay yung isura mo, maging presentable ka, maging maganda ka. Pero na-realize ko as I get older, um, dapat pala makontento din ako sa bigay ni Lord. Maging grateful ako. So, kung balbon ako, de, kung balbon ako dati, baka nakaka-relate ka, na balbon ka. So, syempre, minsan, di ba, hindi maiwasan na natutukso or parang nabubuli kung mataba ka, katulad ko dati. And, eh, share ko to kasi there are a lot of younger girls out there and they're sharing me na, ate, uh, gusto kong maging flight attendant pero hindi ako ganun kaganda, hindi ako matangkal, hindi ako makinis, hindi ako magaling mag-English. And, there are a lot of insecurities that they don't really feel confident about. And, sobrang nakaka-relate ako. Kaya, nakikita ko yung sarili ko sa mga iba na ako din eh, ganun din naman ako before eh. Hindi rin ako ganun ka ganda eh. Ang taba ko, ang itim ko and balbon. So, parang mas lalo pang nagkamali dahil babae tayo. Kasi I made the research about hair growth. So, if you have high androgen so that's the hormone that causes hair growth. So, tendency, pwede talaga mas maging mabilis yung hair growth mo. And meron kang mga hair sa mga areas na dapat wala namang hair yung babae. And na-realize ko na ganun talaga. May mga hindi tayo kontrolado sa buhay natin. But, praise God, because um, kahit laki ako sa hirap, uh, by God's grace, I was able to save money and I I made some investment para maging presentable eh. Kasi sometimes it's really important that we are confident and we get confidence if we know that we look beautiful, we look great. And that's the reason why I also do my workout and go to the gym kasi bigay ni Lord itong katawan natin eh. Protektahan natin. And with that, if you feel that you are not that beautiful or parang baka hindi mo matupad yung mga pangarap mo kasi you have a lot of insecurities, yung mga hair natin na yan, bigay ni Lord yan. Pero may mga bagay na kaya natin kontrolin. Pwede tayo maging matipid, pwede tayo maging madiscarpe, pwede tayo maging practical sa buhay. And we can 
practically buy products that will help to enhance our physical appearance. And nakakatuwa kasi meron naman lumalabas na ngayon sa teknosa based sa mga technology natin, di ba? Marami naman lang din lumalabas. We also go to a doctor. Baka naman kasi meron kang pikos. So, sa mga babae, isa rin yun. Sa reason, bakit nagkakabigote? Sa mga area na dapat, wala naman. Baka meron kang pikos or meron kang other hormonal imbalance. So, I would strongly recommend go to a doctor so you would be able to find out what's really happening to your body. Pero katulad ko, wala naman akong pikos. Pero sa jumble mo nga talaga. <laughs> pero, salamat pa rin kay Lord. Bakit? Kasi, kahit pa paano, unti-unti, habang pa nakakaipon, habang nagtatrabaho, habang nagsusumikap, habang nakaka, um, kum, kumikita-kita ng mga, ay, mga reward ba? So, mga simple reward na pwede naman ninyo na natin ibigay sa sarili natin. I will link the... I will put the link in the description box below because I purchased this one in Lazada so you would be able to purchase if you wish to purchase a belt. Once again, this video is not sponsored. I'm just sharing my personal reviews about the effectivity of this IPLS Calcon products. And always remember, God is an amazing plan for your life. If you're like me, that you really don't feel confident about yourself, know that God will help you, God will give you wisdom, and just always remember my life first. This is what I would normally remind myself every time I feel down, especially now that we have an going global pandemic. Then, always remind yourself, Jeremiah 29 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. So, with that, I'm Jermaine Degia. Always remember, work as if everything depends on you and pray as if everything depends on God. Goodbye!